Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the second grade concept of fractions, specifically how we can draw and name fractions that are greater than one whole, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we'll start with your basic fraction. Let's cut the circle here. Let's cut it into four equal pieces. So what we have is we've got fourths. And the reason we're calling this fourths is because this one whole is broken up into four equal pieces. So if I were to shade in one piece, I would say we've got one fourth. So I would drop the S at the end of fourth. I would just say one fourth. But if I shaded in an extra two pieces, now I've got three fourths. And the three, the, remember the first word tells you how many pieces are shaded in or how many pieces we're talking about. And then the second word, fourths, tells you how many total pieces there are. But what happens if I shade in that fourth piece? Well, we can call that four fourths. It sounds a little bit strange, but it's the correct way to say it. Four fourths, because I have four pieces shaded in out of a total of four pieces. But did you notice that I've shaded in the entire shape? So I can say it's four fourths or I can just say it's one whole. So we could call that one whole because I have shaded in the entire circle. Now what gets really fun is if we start shading in more than one whole. Let's look at eighths this time. So I'll draw a circle here and we will go ahead and cut it into four equal parts. And then once you cut each of those four equal parts in half by drawing a line through it, now you've got eighths. So let's go ahead and just label that eighths. So it's like the word eight. I'm just going to put an HS at the end of it. I don't need to put a THS just because eight already ends with a T. So if I want to shade in this entire circle, right now I've shaded in four eighths. So that's five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths. So that's eight eighths. So if I wanted to, I can say that's eight eighths. Or remember that also could be one whole. So both of those would work if we're looking at the fraction or if we're looking at the whole piece. If I want to shade in something that's greater than one whole, make a fraction that is larger than one, I need to draw another circle, and the circle needs to be the same shape, needs to be the same size, and it also needs to be broken up into eighths. So we're not going to draw a fraction larger than one if one of my circles is broken into eighths and the other one is into fourths. They all have to be dealing with the same fractional pieces because we're still looking at eighths. So right now, I have a total of 16 eighths total. I've got eight right here, and I've got eight right here and only eight of them are shaded in, so it's still eight eighths. We're not gonna count any of these over here on the right until we shade them in. So if I were to shade that one in right there, there's two different ways that I can name this. The first way would be like we've been doing the whole time, naming the number of pieces and then the fractional pieces that we're looking at. So this first one would be, let's cross this out so we don't get confused, nine eighths. So this is called nine eighths, simply because we have nine pieces shaded in, but each circle is broken into eighths. We're not gonna say sixteenths, even though there are a total of 16 pieces, each circle is still broken up into eighths, so we're gonna keep it that way. Or you can say one and, one eighth. Now let's talk about why we can say one and one eighth. So this one goes back to the one whole. So this first one, we're not going to say one whole and one eighth. Once you get beyond one whole, we're just going to say one. And that is pointing back to this whole eight eighths that we shaded in. This and means there's something a little bit more beyond that one whole. And then this one eighth, that is what is being described right here. So you could say nine eighths or one and one eighth. 